Hello and welcome Pokemon trainers, professors, and champions to another exciting episode of Poke Packs. I'm Royce, the Best Times Pokemon, and today we're going to be opening six Cosmic Eclipse Build and Battle Kits. This is the last set of the Sun and Moon era, and there are still some good cards in the set. Um, I can't wait to open it. We have plenty of code cards to give away. We're going to be really excited about doing that. And I do have some trivia. That'll be fun. And whoever gets the trivia gets, um, gets code cards. It's gonna be great and if you guys say hi we'll give you another code card we're just having fun today we're opening more packs um i actually can't wait to open this up because i discovered that we had a bunch of uh cosmic clips pre-release kits build and battle kits and they're really cool and there's a bunch of really good pokemon in them including uh charizard and breaks in gx blasters and piplup uh Solgaleo, lunala togepi and clef and iglybuff uh arceus and dialga and palkia and reshram and zekrom as well as others um the trainers that I'm going to be looking for are the Full Arts, uh, Cynthia and Caitlin, Guzman Hala, Lily's Full Force, Mallow and Lana, uh, Red and Blue, and Rosa. Those will be really cool. I mean, they're really useful in the game itself otherwise, but those are the, the secret, this can be the Full Arts I'm going to be looking for. Uh, but the secret rare uh, trainers, um, the secret rare items I'm going to be looking for are the Lily's Poke Doll and the Tag Call, uh, as well as, of course, Draw Energy because it's just really cool looking. All right, so um, we're gonna do it. We're gonna mix it up a little bit today. Um, I'm sorry if you hear something in the background. <laughs> the store is open. Everybody, come in. Come on in. Say hi. Uh, we're having a good time. Uh, feel free to stop by. We are a Poke Stop. If you guys play Pokemon Go, and we also have a bunch of packaged product that, uh, as as well as singles, that uh, that Pokemon has. I'm sorry, I haven't posted anything yet online 
for singles. Um, our system is being really weird and it's been weird the past six months and I'm still having difficulty adding stuff to the system for some reason. Um, if there is a weird delay, I apologize. I cannot wear my glasses right now because <laughs> we're all wearing masks and my glasses fog up. So apologies, I'm gonna be on my computer right here uh, for a little bit. All right, so uh, there's other cards that I'm looking for in the set that are this full art secret rare, uh, the Torkoal, Weavile, Piplup, Wishy Washy, Magnemite, Coughing, Gallade, Excadrill, Mimikyu, I love Mimikyu, Steelix, Stoutland, and Pikachu. That's the one with the trainer. They're in like a library. It's really cool art. I'm hoping I get to pull that. Um, these cards are still being used in standard and the secret rares are pretty hard to come by. Um, uh, a lot of the GXs also have a rare uh, alternate art that is technically a full art, um, but it's different art and it's got, uh, it's still got the texture, but it's, I don't know if it's like rarer than regular full arts, but I, I honestly prefer a lot of the alternate arts more. I think they're really cool. All right, so uh, we're gonna start in just a second. I actually wanna bring up that um, I discovered today, believe it or not, I was scrolling through my newsfeed and I found um, there are a couple new cards that are gonna be releasing hopefully soon. They're gonna be releasing in Japan uh, on Koro Koro Magazine. Uh, they're the amazing rare cards. We've only got two of them spoiled right now. One of them is Jirachi. Uh, it's just a regular Jirachi. It has the ability Dream Oracle, which says once during your turn, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you may look at the top two cards of your deck, put one of them into your hand, and return the other one on top of your deck. That's pretty sweet, honestly. Um, and the other one is Rayquaza, which um, it's a green lightning and a fighting uh, called Amazing Burst, which does 80 damage. Discard all basic energy uh, from this Pokemon. This attack is 80 damage for each type of basic energy you discard in this way. That's pretty cool actually they're not like amazing but apparently there's gonna be a bunch of these also the art is really cool uh the rayquaza art i think is my favorite right now there's a bunch of really cool art i found this on poke beach um poke beach is great for like information about decks and stuff um but you do have to pay for their service uh but i just look at like looking at some of the spoilers because the spoilers are really cool uh there's a new set releasing in japan uh, called infinity zone the secret rares are spoiled. Uh, it's really cool, except that uh, some Pokemon V from the next Japanese set, Infinity Zone, uh, will be cut from the English set. This is to make room for Pokemon V intended to promote the release of Isle of the Isle of Armor DLC, um, <clears throat> like the Galarian Slowbro V and the Mew V. Uh, so some of the cards that are listed on this, the um, on Poke Beach may be pushed to November. For a Western release. Whether or not that applies to other countries, I'm not sure, um, but some of the art is really cool. Um, there's, there's a, I'm, I'm wondering, I'm a little concerned about what's, what's not going to be in our, in our sets. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, that's the info I've got, so pokebeach.com is like great info for that. Um, I hope you've been making more social media posts, posts about that. All right, so we might as well just get started with, uh, again, I've got six boxes of um, six building battle kits of Cosmic Eclipse, which is the last set of Sun and Moon. People are still playing these cards. And again, I'm looking for a couple of cards in particular uh, that are really good that people want. Uh, there's some other GXs in here, uh, including uh, Venusaur and Snivy, the alternate art Wishy Washy, Naganadel and Guzzlord, <clears throat> the Megalo Pony and, and Jigglypuff, as well as the, uh, the alt art Sil Valley. <coughs> Excuse me, I have allergies. I apologize profusely. It's allergies. We're having a really wet summer and it's, uh, Niles, it's fun. It's cold today, isn't it? It's like 70 yeah. degrees out. It's so, it was like 65. Really too, so it was like 65 yesterday. I don't know. All right. So we're going to get started, guys. We're going to have a lot of fun doing this. Um, we hope you guys, you know, enjoy as usual. And uh, we're going to get started. Again, uh, in each build and battle kit, there's going to be one of four promo cards that only comes in this battle kit. Um, I'm specifically hoping for the Fion, but the other three are great. Um, we'll just see what we get in the first one. So every one of these, again, is going to have its own uh, code card for the online game. And um, I think it comes with the promo as well as the... Well, I got the Entei. That's not terrible. Oh, is the camera doing nothing again? Yeah. It's, it's shiny. It's shiny. It's a thing. We got these guys... That's Garbo. Right, let's see what we get in this. We will be giving away these uh, these code cards for 
I guess for those of the people who get the, um, the trivia questions. Yeah, yeah, the, the actual build and battle card. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The other ones we'll be posting uh, just, you know, after each pack as usual. And then uh, we still have a bunch of cards, uh, promo cards that we could give to people who say hi in the chat, you know, visiting, uh, return people and, you know. This is a really good card. This is still a really good card. Just FYI. Or just, yeah, it's, it, it always has been, always will be. Um, it's a good cricket tune. Yeah, we got some. This is just, this is just the twenty-three card. It's a cute one. That's another. Deerling. Uh, who's that girl that we talked about last time? Who does the um, the trapper keepers and folders? Lisa Frank. Yeah, Lisa Frank. Yeah, yeah, very. very well, this is what it, this is what it evolves into. Is Saul's Buck, That's cool. which is legit. Um, I think Saul's Buck is the one that has different forms for every. Um, oh, season. For every That's season, right, yeah, yeah, I think it's Saul's Buck. Um, there's a bunch of cool. Dude, Pokemon are cool. Yeah, Erica's Hospitality. Yeah, I remember when this full art was like 60 bucks. It was nuts. Yeah, Tain Lies has been used a couple times. Pokemon Communication. <gasps> Tepig! <laughs> Little sleepy boy. Yeah, he's adorable. He turns into a monstrosity, though. There he is. Wait for he's it. He's getting there, yeah. Wait for it. And then, boom, baby! Jeez. Embor. He's a big boy. That's that. Alrighty, we're going to keep moving on to the, the cards here. Just trying to see what we're going to get. Okay, this is interesting. Is they they have these backwards now. It used it, it's now that they have. Oh, the code um, card was at the front. No, the code card was was on the back. However, the code card was flipped over. Oh. So the code was Spoilers. was legible. Yeah, Slugma. So these are ones that. Oh my God! Look at that art. The Wheelord. Oh. Wilmer. Sorry, Wilmer. Wilmer that evolves into Wheelord. Pawniard. There's all kinds of Togedemaru. This is the um, the electric hedgehog, <laughs> which is funny because that's what chestnut is. Like. First Hall Temple and Dude! Oh, wow. Horikorio, sweet. This was a card that like I don't think it was the, the GX, but there was a an Horikorio that people like everybody wanted and it was really cool. But this is just a really cool card. Let's see, that's that's one of the GXs you can get in this uh in the set Curlia. Which evolves from Ralts and B sharp. B sharp. That is the first one done. We're gonna show off a code card. And I might as well just get into the trivia right now just to have fun with that um again we're opening cosmic clips building battle kits we're having fun doing that we're just hanging out today having a good time and again if you get a green card it's an okay pack if you get a white card it will be a slightly better or an amazing pack <laughs> you are not guaranteed anything in in these packs it's all just it's all random i think it's actually a really good thing they they flipped over the the code cards that you can read the code cards first. Carvana. Have your dessert first. I mean, yeah, you, don't, you don't know what you're. Back, yeah, you yeah. don't see the back of it. You have to flip the whole thing over. Reverse Hollow Whalmer. You'll notice that this has a different uh, hollow than um, uh, what's it called? Uh, than the Sun and Moon sets. This is from excuse me, Sun and Moon. Uh, Sword and Shield. Swish the Swish sets. Uh, Sun and Moon has a uh, different foiling, which is a different thing. And GXs have a completely different foil. This is a, an interesting, an interesting mashup. There's double trainers in this. Uh, what I find is interesting about this art is that this is just the regular art for both of them. Uh, if you pull any regular art, like double trainers, they just have the regular art in the in the art box. It's just like here's here's uh, here's your boy Guzma, mm -hmm. and here's Hala, and they're doing this. It's the exact same art from the regular cards, smaller, but the full art secret rares are like different art yeah it's a I actually want a a, uh, a super rare that one that'd be cool dartrix i love this this line they're so cool i like that he is he's grass dark mm -hmm. that's what he evolves into all right i hope you guys are having fun out there whoever's watching we're having a good time oh, I forgot to you're good you're good and yeah, as always, uh, feel free to say hi in the chat. Let us know that you're hanging out with us, um, and I'll be able to send you guys uh, bonus code cards at the end of the stream. Yep. We usually right. go about an hour to two hours, depending on you know how many packs we got, how much time we have to stop and chat about some stuff, and then uh, trivia that'll be popping up. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of trivia, I'm gonna give one out right now. Um, so the creator of Pokemon, Satoshi Tajiri, what's his favorite Pokemon? What is the creator of Pokemon Satoshi Tajiri's favorite Pokemon? Favorite. Favorite Pokemon. Which is not what I expected it to be, to be honest. I, I was not expecting that. I thought that was interesting. So, again, you're going to find a lot of um, 
<clears throat> the first. Oh, there. Victoric. Hello, Victoric. Coming in. Woohoo. We're hanging out. Uh, but yeah, you're going to find like the first, I think it's like 800, seven something, 700 something Pokemon in this set. Um, draw energy. I want the secret rare of this one because it's also, pretty. Also, Victoric, I don't know if you, you said uh, you stopped by to say hi like right uh, when you were asking. Did you catch the, uh, the trivia question or should we repeat oh, that? Well, you did. I'll repeat it anyway. Yeah. Uh, what is the creator of Pokemon Satoshi Chijiri's favorite Pokemon? What is what is the creator of Pokemon's favorite Pokemon? Hopefully you can get it. Um, so fun fact: I went through. I don't. I don't even know how I found it. Uh, TV Tropes has. Nice. It's it's mostly the video game, which sure, you know sure. fair, but. Um, I actually found out that Pokemon itself is, like, the franchise is the highest selling, um, highest money-making uh, franchise of all time. Really? Like, at all. Like, it's it's, it's higher than Mario. The In terms of video games, in terms of video games, ooh, that's, oh, it's a big T! <gasps> Look at that, it's adorable. That's super cool. Um, but it's, it's even higher than Mario. In terms of the video games are second highest. Yeah. Um... All right, so Victoric, so everybody who missed that, the what is the creator of Pokemon Satoshi Tajiri's favorite Pokemon? It's kind of a weird one, to be totally honest with you. It was unexpected when I heard it. All right, that's the first box done. That's four packs in the first box. Not bad. We got a, a full we're gonna, or... we're gonna work Oreo. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad at all, actually. And we got the other Entei. Uh, we got a Victini. Victini's cool. The Victini always confuses me with Jirachi. They look a lot alike. I know they're different colors, but like, I think it's funny. I'm actually gonna check this, uh, check this pack to see if it's any different, if I got anything else. No, it's Tepig. Oh, interesting. We got, uh, we got Psychic instead of, uh, instead of, uh, Fire. So, again, these packs are for, uh, for pre release. So everybody gets, you know, a, a box of these for pre release. You get to take the, um, take the packs out and take the packs this way through card evolution pack and you know go through and see what you want to build a deck out of and you only build a 40 card deck you can use the cards from the 23 card evolution pack you don't have to uh, but it has to be at least 40 cards um it can be more than that but hope it wouldn't be this is a cool reverse hollow um so again they've changed the reverse hollows between this and uh sun and sword and shield i keep getting them confused this is sun and moon cosmic yeah. eclipse um it's a cool energy i don't the one before like this like, I know how you said like they swap the kind of like background uh, yeah, this is a, designs around. For yeah, each this set, is from the, so this particular style came up in I think it was tag team. Okay. Which was there was tag team and I don't remember. No worries, Victor. I don't remember. It is not, but you are very close. Ah. We'll give that one to you. That's fine. Yeah. We'll give you that one. I assume it's what Polo World. It's Polo World. Yeah. Wait. It, Power World's the one that actually has the fists, right? Yep. Man, yeah, yeah I, I thought guess. that was a weird... I definitely wouldn't guess that either. Right. So he's a gross... Well, not gross, but it's a weird one. Right. Uh, fun fact, prior to Generation 4, if a shiny D Ditto or Mew transforms a regularly colored Pokemon, it transforms the shiny version of that Pokemon. Uh, if a regular colored Ditto copies a shiny Pokemon, it will transform into the regular colored version of that Pokemon. Interesting. And, it's someone obviously... If a shiny Ditto copies a shiny Pokemon, it will be the shiny variant. Um, but from Gen 4 on, whether it appears shiny or not depends solely on the target's coloration. Uh, my question is, if Ditto was man-made by accident, why are you supposed to breed with Dittos? Speaking of, second trivia question. Hang on, I'm going to find it. What legendary can be bred with Ditto? What legendary can be bred with Ditto? This is a, this is kind of another weird one. That's like, why is it that one? Uh, McCrimmon's in YouTube. Uh, these aren't used. It it might just be that somebody got them before you. Uh, these are ones that were literally taken out of the pack right now. Vic so. Torque got it again. Manaphy, hell yeah. Jeez, I think a feel, and I want this as the the pre-release card. Uh, but uh, McCrimmon's, yeah. Don't worry, we'll be sending them. Uh, extra bonus cards uh, to people at the end of it. Um, and then Victor, since he's been getting some of the trivia stuff right, he'll be getting the uh, the build and battle cards. Two of the build and battle ones, kits. So. Yep. 
The Victorx right. stack is growing the already. Victorx so. stack. Yes, Manaphy can breed Fionns. That is correct. But again, why Ditto? Poor Ditto. Um, that just reminds me of the, the um, that one animated short of the the legendaries fighting each other. Which ones? There's a there's a YouTube short of it's animated. It's animated remarkably well. Um, but it's a bunch of. It, it, this guy does like, like mashups of things, and one of them is legendaries fighting who would win. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. And then there was another one of the babies fighting who would win. <laughs> And it is the cutest thing. It is so cute. Are you here to pick up your sample line? Um, it's a very cute. It's a very cute thing, uh, especially because in the legendary one, the you're 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 doing a simulation. It turns out, oh, gotcha. like it's like the spoilers, but you crash the simulation because there's so much going on. It's really funny. Uh, it's a really good. It's really good. It's like eight nine minutes. It's really funny. Um, I think I got something in this pack. I hope I did because I'm seeing some shiny. Reverse hall sand aghast, and then ooh Volcarona, sweet. That's cool. Is that a moth, yeah. It is a moth. It's it's one of many. Um, you can't really see it in the the light, but it's it's really shiny. Yeah, Jesus. It's just a regular one, but it's really cool. There's a bunch of really cool stuff in the set that I'm hoping to pull. That we're hoping to pull. Uh, this reverse or this the secret rare is is really cool. Hi, Rydami. How's it going? Uh, so I'm looking to get. There's a couple of. Uh, the cards I'm looking to get in the set that are, like, like actually still being used in standard right now. Um, you want to throw that card up, <coughs> the code card. <laughs> Appropriate because... that you can't see the moth because of lamps. <laughs> brother, brother. <laughs> like, brother, I would like the lamp. All right, we're gonna move on to the next trivia question. Um, what are nose pass and probo pass based on? What what are nose pass and probo pass based on? Anybody gets that? Alrighty, moving on. Yeah, so right now I've pulled an Oracorio and a Volcarona. These aren't terrible. I'm actually pretty okay with these. Are these are all right? It's just a matter of whether or not the next four are gonna have any four boxes are gonna have anything cool. Uh, this will be a lot of. Hey, Steve got it. Trousers got it. Nice. <laughs> Woo! Uh, if you want to give somebody that code card, feel free because I don't know you don't play. Uh, but, I was gonna say Raidami just joined and and uh, hasn't got one yet. So let's give that one to Raidami then, but or your, whoever your whoever said yeah we yeah, trousers do, do what you would like. Uh, we've got trousers extras. In so. it for the love of the game. <laughs> he, Did we open up another um? What's one up? Of these? No, not yet. Okay, we're only on number so two. That, so that'll be the third so, one. Yeah, we got we're gonna have a third one coming out. Um, so we're just hanging out, guys. Opening packs. Ooh. Yo! That's the secret Whoa. rare Torkoal. Check that out. That's Whoa. this is exclusive to this set. I was gonna say, it's one I don't of think several. I've never seen anything like that before. Isn't this really cool? Yeah. They're not like worth a whole heck of a lot, but they're really cool looking. Oh, yeah. Like that's really cool, man. That's really cool. I like and Torkoal is just funny. Like look at that face. I was not expecting that in this pack. That's really cool. I don't I don't even know. Type null. This poor guy. No love. No love for uh, for Sil Valley. That's so unfortunate. All right, so we're gonna move on to the third. Yeah. That one almost looks here. almost looks fake to me, just because I've never seen like the secret reds are usually like the rainbow one, right? And then the full art one. So this is in order too. So it is kind of a weird. Right. Amalgam. This is a this is a new thing they started doing for the set. Mm -hmm. This is this isn't even like a special like card or like Pokemon or anything. There's nothing mm -hmm. special about it. It's just, hey, here's a full art secret rare. Yeah, yeah. You can look, look this up online. It looks happy. That's what matters. <laughs> uh, you can look this up online as Torkoal secret rare. Uh, if you go on like TCG player. All right. Oh wait, look. We got Buzzwool. Hell Check yeah. that out. That's super cool. Buzzwool, who is a Banff, who is uh, Larry the Lobster, the mosquito. <laughs> Showing my age there. Anyway. All right. So this one's going see, to. That's, um, yeah, that's going uh, to go to whomever. Right on me. So. There you go. We've got three more trivia questions. Though. Yep. I got more than that, but... Well, gonna, nice I mean, we got a Cricketune, Cricketune, Deerling, Deerling, Sawsbuck, Sawsbuck, another Draw Energy, Red's Challenge, Everything's Fidelity. Oh, Piplup! We got the, the water one here, Piplup. Prinplup and Empoleon. So, when I was playing um, Diamond, it was Shinx and Empoleon were, like, my two favorite... Yeah, I, I definitely took... Uh, Piplup as the starter for that that season or that 
That game? Yeah. That set of games? Series, yeah. It's all good. That whole series. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the, again, that's the last game that I played. Um, I will occasionally play, uh, or I was going to play Pokemon Shuffle, but unfortunately I lost my save file, so... Mm. And you can't move anything over, and I'm really upset. But, Togedimaru! <laughs> I, I'm sorry, like, I want, like, a plushie of him. He's just a big, round fluff. Who is Electric Trap Inch, who just looks funny. Flabebe. 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 Crib Roller, which is... Hell yeah. I don't... I like that guy. I don't... He's a boxing crab, right? He's a boxing crab. Ooh, Dragalge! It's cool art, too. Right? It's there's almost some... like Magic the Gathering, like, some McKinnon-style art there. It's like yeah, there's, watercolors. There's, there's such ridiculous art in this game. Like, it's really cool. Speaking of... Nice pass. Mm. Purple pass. Turkle! Yeah, this guy does the same thing that this guy does, but oh, this yeah. one's a secret rare. He looks happy in both of them, so it's good. That's what matters. Other than that. <clears throat> Alright, you want to show a yeah. Ambipalm? Yes. Show a code card? Give us a code, mate. Oh, I give us a code, nah. Alright, All right, so... We're going to move on to the next trivia question. Oops. Darn it! That's what I get. Yeah. Dropping code cards. Oh, I'm dropping code cards, man. These, these dirty code cards. <laughs> these filthy code cards. <laughs> All right, so moving on. The uh, the next uh, the next trivia question: What three Pokemon are meant to represent Norse mythology? Trousers, do not answer this question. I already told you about it. <laughs> what three Pokemon are meant to represent Norse mythology? All right, we're gonna move on to the next pack here. Another another flabby. Is this a different art? Is this a different art? Oh, it's a common, yeah. that's why, yeah. So this, this is another set where they have multiple of the same Pokemon. Pokemon. Uh, there you go. That's Trousers is fine. Um, but <laughs> but they don't do that anymore. It's The reason they did that is because the Japanese sets have... Uh, they're, they're smaller sets than we have, and we group them together. Like, they come out more frequently, and we group them together four sets a year. They might have 12 mm. individual sets. Which is a thing that... that that sort of happens. All right. So the the um, the trivia question was: What three Pokemon are meant to represent Norse mythology? I did not know this myself, actually. Uh, I thought it was interesting. Are they all from like the same generation? They are all or... from the same generation. Okay. Just uh, they are legendaries. I will I will give you that. They are legendaries. Okay. That's a hint. Um. Yeah, I also found out that a lot of, uh, in the video games, the um, the places that you go to are related somehow to actual places, like, on the planet. Mm -hmm. Victor got it. Certainly Victor yes. got it. Yveltal and Zygarde. The, uh, say, what's it called? I've heard those names, I just can't picture them. Uh, Xerneas is the deer. With the giant, okay. the multicolored, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So X, oh yeah, so X and Y, uh, X, Y, and Z. And then... Zygarde is based on the serpents. Um, yeah. It's just they, they, they yeah, they, <laughs> they hang out, they hang out on Yggdrasil. Yeah, Yggdrasil, the world tree. The Alolan sand slash oh, sand yeah. true. I just thought that was a, an interesting thing. And yes, yeah, so it's from X and Y. Oh, uh, another one for well, when we crack one open. Yeah, we'll crack another one. I just want to find fossil. Check that out. It's a reverse hollow. This is not a really popular card, unfortunately. Drampa! Looks really ridiculous. Yeah, there's a bunch of different uh, places that you can go to. Again, I want the secret rare of this one because it's kind of cute. Um, there's different places you can go to that um, uh, that actually deal with like real life places and stuff. This is a this is a this is an uncommon. And it's a different art. I wonder. Just on a tree. He's, just, he's just hanging out, dude. Look at that guy. He's a forest he's animal. It's fine. Look at that. He's shocked. It's okay tomorrow. He's, a, he's an electric type, Mike. Of course he's shocked. Oh, <laughs> oh no, come on. He's an electric type. Uh, also, yeah, Victor says, I guess uh, since Gen 6 is based on France and basing it off of Europe mythology, uh, makes sense. So, all right, this isn't a trivia question, but what is the current generation wait, wait, this, based this on? Is or isn't? What? Did you say this is or isn't what, a trivia question? Oh, what, this is not a trivia yeah, this, question. This, this is not a trivia question. Uh, what is the current generation based on? Can you give us a code card? Uh, yes. 
Thank you. Oi. Oi. It's a code car. Yeah, you just gave it away. Thanks. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, there you <laughs> go. Don't get it on Oh dear, that wasn't a. That wasn't a. Um... Yeah, that's that's just for funsies. Yeah, that was just funsies. Although I'll throw I'll throw an extra code card in for Victoria. We're just throwing extra code cards. Exactly. Yeah, this is just welcome to the Victoria uh, free code <laughs> card hour. <laughs> I feel like we're playing Jeopardy, and he's just like, ding! Is that, yeah. is that what? Ken? No, nope, all of a sudden. Nope. What's oh, Ken Jennings? Yeah, Ken, yeah, he's the Ken Jennings of Pokemon right now. Almost said our uh, uh, our subscriber, Ken, last no, name. No, that's, not... that's the first one that comes to mind when I, when I hear Ken. So. Oh, poor Ken. I have some weird trivia, honestly. Sure, let's get wild with it. Uh... Okay, hang on. Oh, here's a here's a, a weird one. Um, how many forms does Unown have? Ah. How many forms does Unown have? Is it Unown? Unown? I always thought it was unknown. Unknown? Unown? I don't know. I mean, I to be to be fair yeah. to be fair. There's so many different ways to pronounce. Uh, there's there's yeah. a there's an issue. I think it's slightly more. You're on the right track, but slightly Victor more. Victor is incorrect. Uh, it is slightly more. Um, but apparently Blastoise. Victor got it again. Jeez, Victor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, trousers. Uh, yes, yes, Victor <laughs> got it again. Ken Jennings of Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, Victor. Yeah, it's because it's, it's oh, twenty six for the uh, for the alphabet, and then yeah, there's some for punctuation. Yo, the... check it out. <laughs> yes. So this is uh, Reshram and Zekrom, and you'll notice that N. Is hanging out with them, kind of in the just middle. just there chilling, is, yeah. yeah, just chilling between the two of them. Is the camera's doing the thing again? Gosh darn it! Uh, it's too shiny. Nice. It's, there we go. Go. Oh, it's not it's doing it again. Whatever. Is, is that a expensive car? Not oh. really. Not really. It's it's. Uh, I was like, yeah, it looks cool. If nothing there's, else. There's, you know what? To be honest, there's actually other art that I like of this, and it's better. Victor, I agree with you, but there's better art of this. I'm hoping I pull it. All right, so this is the third. Build and battle kit that I've got. So I'm hoping I build or I get the next one. This is the end of the this particular this particular uh, box, but I've got another box coming up. Alrighty. Um, what's another? Oh, no, nobody's gonna get that. Because also this this I'd box show my is age. going to uh, Victor. That's fair. <gasps> Guess what I just There's got? The boy. Yay! This makes me happy. This is a really good card right now. Uh, this is Fion. This is the, um, like, so one out of every, uh, you get one of every, well, you get one of four promo cards. Let's try it again. You get one of four promo cards in each, in each box, yeah. and one in a box is, like, the good one, which is, like, an unusual thing, and this is the good one in this particular, uh, this particular, uh, set. So, thanks so much for joining us, guys. We are hanging out. We are opening Cosmic Eclipse, Building Battle Kit, Sun and Moon Cosmic Eclipse. Uh, we're having a good time doing it because I've pulled some good stuff. Um, I'm actually going to move you up here. And yeah. Code card code goes, card to, goes uh, to Victor, Victor. For, for winning the, the trivia. So right yeah. now, Victor is at three Building Battle Kit cards Jeez, and one man. bonus Cosmic Eclipse Slow one. Slow your roll. And then so, yeah. uh, we got Raidami with uh, another one. Raidami by way of Sinister Trouser. Yes. <laughs> and we got Dust Skull. And Dusk Clops, and then Dusk Noir. Hell yeah. yeah. I always like those guys. Dusk Noir, all the terrifying yeah. dark ones. All right. Dark, dark Pokemon are cool. Prove me wrong. All right, so here's another trivia question, guys. We have, we've done four already? Yeah, okay. also, it's, this is wigging out, so I'm just going to do this. All right. So, another trivia question. Uh, if Pikachu is the first most marketed Pokemon in the franchise, who is the second? If Pikachu is the first most marketed Pokemon in the franchise, who is the second? Who is the second most marketed Pokemon? Yeah, that's Incorrect! What I, that's what I was thinking too, uh, Victor. Incorrect. Charizard? Victor got it. At it again. Again. <laughs> the correct answer is Charizard. Charizard is his second yeah, most marketed say, he's definitely like... Pokemon in the franchise. You know what? I'm gonna do another one because I don't think you'd get. I don't. I do not think you'd get this one, Victor. This is, this is this is a shout out. Uh, Don Fan is known to be extra useful for road maintenance. What is its pre-evolution known for? Don Fan is known to be extra useful. 
for road maintenance. What is its pre-evolution uh, fan pee known for? Yeah, Don Fan is known to be extra useful for road maintenance. What is its pre-evolution fan pee what known is Don for? Don Fan? What's it's he an, look like? He's, uh, he's an elephant here. Oh, Don yeah. Don Fan. Uh, this guy. This, okay, this yeah. big ol', he's got he's, a big thing. He's a, what is he, like, just flatten this stuff? What's he doing? He's, he, like, he's an elephant. He picks stuff up. He can pick stuff up in his trunk. That's, that's what elephants do. I mean, they do that. But what is his... What is his... Nope. <laughs> nope, that is not correct. This is, this is, this is my favorite answer right now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I found that out and went, all right, cool. <laughs> what is this that's free right. evolution known for? Uh, it's going to be great. Not pulling... Not pulling great here. Moving on. Next pack. We're having a good time. Oh, look at this art. Look at this stupid art. Uh huh. This stupid art. There's a bunch of different art in. Uh... Oh, hey! Check it out. Excadrill, the secret rare. Whoa. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's super cool. This is an interesting uh, reverse holo. You might think it would be fake, this. fake, but it's <laughs> it's an actual card. Take it. <laughs> you can't put it down, David. We're having, we're having some issues. <laughs> we're having a good time. Maybe I'll show that off at the end. Yeah, please do. I don't think it'll you guys are well. Yeah. It's all good. That's that. That pack's on. I got a secret rare Excadrill. That's really cool, actually. Man, I can't believe I pulled a Rusher, a Rusher, Rusherom, Rusheram and Zekrom, Zek, Zek, Zekram. Yeah. Any, any hints really... for our boy Victor? <laughs> No. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't, I can't, know, I don't know if that's what I can't that give any hints. I can't that's give any like... hints. I'm sorry, I cannot give you any hints. Um, Don Fan is known to be extra useful for road maintenance. What is its pre-evolution fan pee known for? <laughs> this is the stupidest. <laughs> I was gonna say this one. You might just have to tell people. We'll need another one because yeah. I, uh... oh, okay, I'm sorry. So the answer to that question is unintentionally throwing people great distances. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> just, just, yeet. <laughs> he doesn't know his own strength. Speaking of Eevee, this Victor, Pokeball empty. Yeah, this Eevee. Pokeball. <laughs> I actually, I was thinking about having a, a trivia question for these guys for Sneasel and Weavile, but I'm not going to do that because it was a weird question um, and, like, no one would get it. Um, Cosmog, check that out. That's so cute. Cosmog. Cosmog, Cosmoam, uh, evolve into Sogaleo or Lunala. Those are really cool. Roxy. This just, uh, she needs to hang out with Marnie. In my opinion, like, I just think he's oh Pyro, Pyro the this is the male Pyro the female Pyro looks completely different, which I think is fantastic. But they don't do anything differently; they just do the same thing. They're both lions, no biggie. Yeah. Um, I think this is also Lysander's favorite Pokemon because he looks like freaking Pyro, honestly. All right, last pack from this box. Alrighty, hope everybody's doing all right out there. Everybody's you know having a Having an okay time in quarantine. Doing all right. We're all in this together, guys. Um, the store is open. If you guys are interested in hanging out, saying hi, we are a PokeStop. Uh, we have a bunch of cool product, including uh, singles. I apologize. I have to show this really quick because it's the camera's being stupid. Um, I apologize for not putting anything online. We're having issues with our online system. Uh, if you guys are anywhere near Niles, Illinois, let us know, and we, we can definitely ship stuff to you, too. Um, shouldn't be a problem. All good. I'm just trying to fix the camera. Oh no, you're good. I was just. Let me just. I'm just gonna get through this. We can. We can finish that in a second. <gasps> Evie. There's the boy. That's your boy, Evie. Umbreon is my favorite. Did I get anything good in this pack? I wonder. Probably not. <gasps> Ooh, it's a lichen. Oh, it's the rare. It's a lichen rock. That's a Rosella. That's actually really cool looking lichen rock. Check that out. It's cool. It's angle. Up, up, up. Scotland. Uh, okay. It's it's a <laughs> so so it's a it's a terrier. Uh huh. It's a it's a little. I actually knew a dog named Stout, and he mm -hmm. was he was a King Charles Spaniel, and he was a he was such he was such a little brat. We loved him. This is actually a really cool card. I prefer Herdier over Stoutland, but is that the baby version. No, Herdier is the one before this. Oh, okay. It looks it looks uh, more like a Yorkie. Gotcha. But the fact that he's got a massive mustache. I know that the the pre evolution of that like the weird whiskers and mustache that it has uh, forms the. Uh, the symbol uh, for dog in in Japanese. Are you like serious? The, is it really? Apparently, yeah, yeah. Does it really? Oh you my can, god! So no, it does. It. Yeah, yeah. No, it does. That's amazing. No, it does. I, I never even noticed. It. No, it that close totally on him, but, does. Uh, 
if you'll notice the stuff on the, the top of its head. Yeah, yeah, like the, the stage of this guy, the tiny uh, tiny guy right there. His, his like, facial hair and stuff is, is the symbol for, for dog. That's so funny. If we, if we find one of him, we'll I never show. noticed that. Oh, that's so funny. There you so go. There's funny. some bonus trivia. There's some bonus trivia. I never noticed that. Uh, it's funny, actually, because if you use the same... Um, right. No, you're good. I was just making sure this wasn't a... Uh... Uh, specialty one? Yeah. If you use the same basic kanji to write big fat dog, you, you can... It's like the same, like, four, four lines yeah, that make yeah. big fat dog. I just think it's really oh, yeah. funny. All right, we're going to move on to... I've got two more questions. Um, unintentionally throwing people great distances. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, here's a. Uh, hang on. Okay. Let me see what I got here. That would confuse people. I just wrote a bunch of stuff down. I'd never really like, put it together. All right. Which. Excuse me. Which Pokemon has the highest total stats in the Pokemon video game franchise? Which Pokemon has the highest total stats in the Pokemon video game franchise. Ooh! Blacephalon. It's all funny looking. Mega Rayquaza? Nope. In the video game franchise. Oh, in the video game, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Blacephalon is kind of a funny one because he's a bomb. His head's a bomb. Yeah. He's an Ultra Beast because that makes perfect sense. They... Yeah. I never knew what he was. I thought he was like somewhere like DNA or something. Uh, Victor, you are close. But not quite. My phone just went off. It's fine. All right, one more code. All right, so I'm just gonna see what we got in this in this particular thing. Cynthia, Cricketot, Cricketot. I saw the grass. Deerling, Sawsbuck. Gigantamax Eternus. Close, Gigantamax. but not quite. Super V Mega Gigantamax. It's a Turnamax. Okay. Oh. It's a Turnamax Eternatus, so I'll give that one to Victor. It okay. is a Turnamax Eternatus. We're, we're reaching like Dragon Ball Z levels of like Saiyan, Super Saiyan. Eleven hundred and twenty-five is its super, stats. That's super God yeah. Saiyan. It's a uh, Super God Saiyan. Super Super Saiyan Sun God. Super Saiyan. What is it? I yeah. Come on. I don't. I don't know. Um, it's right there. Super Saiyan Sun. Super Saiyan God. Whatever. But anyway, um, yeah. It's a. Uh, What's it called? It's uh, Power Creep. Power Creep yeah. is a legitimate problem with a bunch of games, especially Pokemon. Um, Magic tends to have some issues with that, but at least they ban I stuff. Know, I feel like, yeah, like it kind of ebbs and flows. Right. There's stuff that's like, oh man, this is a little Oko. Yeah. <laughs> Look at what happened with Oko. What a whole thing. Yeah, I don't have a Switch either. That that was that came as a, a uh, surprise to me because I was just like, wait, there's a this this has this many stats. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, what else can I do? Um, all right, so this isn't a trivia question. It's just a, hey, all legendary Pokemon are based on, uh, all legendary Pokemon, quite a few regular Pokemon are based off some form of mythical creature. Uh, so apparently Golduck is a kappa, yeah. which is cool. Lugia is based on the Ryujin, a dragon that uh, lived on the ocean floor and was a Shinto god of the sea. While Ho is based on the Huma bird, which is basically a, a phoenix. Um, uh, Hoenn Weather Trio, Groudon, Kyogre, and Rayquaza are based on the behemoth of Leviathan and Ziz, nice. a giant bird. Arceus is, of course, based off of uh, any manner of creator deity. And then, of course, uh, Giratina is the lord of hell. Um, oh. Yeah, that's a thing. That's actually a thing in Pokemon. Um, I don't even know where this is. I just copy-pasted this. <laughs> so I'm going to be totally honest with you. And then it goes on to say about the... Uh, the X and Y yeah, Pokemon's. Yeah, with uh, the Norse mythology the stuff. The Mons. Okay, so I'm going through... Um, what's it called? I'm going through uh, uh, TV tropes to find, like, random info, to find a uh, bunch of trivia and stuff. And they just called, they kept calling them Mons. And I'm like, that's not... A, that just sounds... Mons. Yeah, it's probably not the best word for it. Olympus but... Mons. But, like, come on, guys. That's a little, that's a little weird. Um... What else can I... Oh! Uh, I'll do this one. Darn it! Things over one, one moment, please, as I pick up my phone that fell out of my pocket. Ugh! I hate women's jeans. Anyway, um... Where was I going with that? I was doing something. Sorry. 
It's been a long week, you guys. It's been a... We're all in this together, and it kind of sucks. Speaking of women's jeans, I accidentally wore my mom's pants yesterday and didn't realize it until the end of the day. But they, they, they fit exactly the same. So, there you go. <laughs> Well, so the thing is, uh, it was what Gloria Vanderbilt is that a is that a yes. thing? Yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> Gloria Vanderbilt. Um, I was wearing them for the entire day. But the thing is, like, I had like black jeans like that too, and like they were made of like a weird kind of like soft material, like like mine were too. And I didn't realize it until I took it off at the end of the day. I'm like, this <laughs> this, this tag on just... the back, yeah, this isn't my Oops. usual tag. Yeah, I'm like, oh, to be fair, to be fair, they're comfy. <laughs> this is what matters. Exactly. Um. One of my friends texted me the other night, and she goes, "Hey, do you do you know, do you want a pair of my jeans?" And I'm like, "What?" No, she asked me, "She, what size do you wear?" I'm like, I'm like this size. And sure, she, yeah. And she's like, "Oh, do you want a pair of my jeans?" Sure. And they're, I really like them. They're comfy. Oh, hey. Speaking Blast of toys, comfy. <laughs> Blast I like that it's it's there. This is a basic. I think that's really funny. Blastoise and Piplup. Because, uh, fun fact: Blastoise should not be pronounced Blastoise. It should be Blastus. Blastus. Because tortoise. Because Blastos is a tortoise. Guess, yeah, yeah, that's tortoise, yeah, it yeah. became a translation issue. That's a whole Blastus. that's a whole other ball of wax. But uh, <laughs> you wore your mom's jeans. <laughs> yeah, that's I get it. No, I get it. <gasps> this is the one that I like yeah, so much. He's so guy. cute. Look at that. He's so cute. He's the evolution of Lilla Pup. And I I want to like I want to get like a kimono and just stick a Lilla Pup in the sleeve. <laughs> Like, you know, that, like, that would be adorable. But Hurtier is just, look at yeah, that, yeah. look at that face. Yeah, those are, the, those are the guys that have, like, the dog uh, symbol on their face, yeah. Yeah. If I make that commander deck, that, oh, yeah, the, the pet's commander one. deck, yeah, yeah Hurtier, they're going to be my uh, my tokens. Because they're cute. I'm just going to shut that, sorry. Thank you. Moving on, having fun, doing a thing, opening packs. Oh, boy. This particular, this, uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's a smug meow. I like that. It's a smug. That is a smug meow. This is one of the very few Pokemon that moves from uh, bipedal to quadrupedal. Yeah. I think that's an interesting that was an interesting design choice. Especially because Alolan uh, Persian looks ridiculous. Yeah. Alolan Persian looks... Uh, the joke's about, like, look at that art. That's, get a that's, close up on that guy. Look at that smug son of a gun. Focus. There we go. Yeah. Look at yeah. That look guy. at that smug. Now, what should I eat now? You know, it's, I just had breakfast. What's for lunch? Second breakfast. Ralts. This is Pessimian, which looks a lot like one of the new legendaries. Um, the one from the new movie, whose name I, was, I can't remember. But Zhang Mo. Zabumafu. Rowlet. Rowlet's adorable. I don't even. It's a ducklet. I get you. Sure. It's a duck, sure. I've never heard of that I, one. Yeah, neither have I. Ursaring, which we ha now have a legendary called Urshifu, which is another mm -hmm. bear. Never it's, enough. it's a bear. It's a. Why do we need another bear? Why do we? Why do we need more uh, Pokemon based on Moai statues, on, uh, on inanimate objects? Mm -hmm. There's a torque hole. All right, that last sucks. pack. Oh, last pack up. Having a good time opening packs. Uh, of course, it's gonna be the first one in this pack is a ducklet. <laughs> just that's just that is a funny looking thing. It's a duck. That's Sam. Yeah. It's a blue duck, in fact. It's a water type. Just like uh, Psyduck. Yes. Psyduck, duck, duck. I like ducks. My friend said that to me once. Uh, <laughs> she was she was on way too much uh, caffeine. I thought it was really funny. Um, I was I was driving her. So, it was actually the friend who gave me the jeans. Uh, she was driving her somewhere, this was years ago, and she's like, duck, we should go see a psychic. Duck, duck, duck. I like ducks. And I'm like, yes, Elizabeth, I know. It's okay. Ducks are nice. Ducks are nice. Unless they're angry at you. <laughs> Look, this guy can't be. Look at him. He's adorable. Stop it. <gasps> this little, right? The Swirlix. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, a it's, cotton ball. It is a cotton ball. What's it actually? It's the, it's the cotton candy Pokemon. Oh, Thank yeah. you, trousers. Was it Yerba Mate that she had? Because, oh my, the, yeah, you know what I think it was? That was back when we worked at, at that mall. Years, that was like, oh, that was years ago. Yerbs uh, ago? I don't know. Yerbs, oh, geez. Yeah, this know. is back when Tivana was yeah, still a thing. Jokes. <gasps> Ooh, Galate. This is the, the rare in this. So, the interesting thing about Ralts, Galade, and Gardevoir is that you can just let it sit at Galade. This was Joe Cross's favorite Pokemon or one nice. of his. Yeah. Um it's a cool it's a cool Pokemon. Mawile. 
whose mouth is actually it's wearing pants. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. The hair. Uh, no, there's a Pokemon that does wear pants. That that like, it's part of its skin. Oh. It's a little yeah. It's a little weird. Is, is that a trivia question? Which it, Pokemon actually has pants? You're right. Which yeah, Pokemon is wearing that. his mom's jeans? <laughs> You do that to yourself. Sorry, that's not that is not my not my problem. All right, so we're gonna give off the last today's last uh, trivia question. Um, what oh, Pokemon? Uh, Victor said Scraggy. Is yes. That, is that the... Yes, that can one you, is. Can you pull up a a, a uh, of Scraggy? I can show you a video of Scraggy actually oh. because it's uh that was posted on the, the the official Pokemon. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he does that. Yeah, yeah he's got saggy pants. He's got saggy pants. There was a video, an animated video they posted on the actual uh, Pokemon YouTube okay. that was hand-drawn, and it was fan- and it looked like it, it was supposed to be like a parody of um, like Looney Tunes, okay. Merry Melodies. It was weird, yeah, <laughs> I can tell you that. Sounds Another Blocephalon. I'm just going to see what's in this really quick. And we got one more, uh, one more code card. All right, guys. Well, one more credit card for this for this thing. Yep. Uh, but the the, the um the trivia question is: What Pokemon is the mediator between Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres? What Pokemon is the mediator between Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres? Um, yeah, Victor, there is a video on the official Pokemon. That is incorrect. There is a a, a, a video on the, the official Pokemon YouTube that was hand drawn, and it's Kind of... Victor got it again. <laughs> it is Lugia. I was gonna say, I, I knew, yeah, I knew it had to be like one of those legendary birds. Yeah, these are all the psychic ones. It is, in fact, Lugia. Giving away a bunch of cool code cards here. All right, I've pulled some good stuff already. I've pulled the the Reshiram and Zekrom, Blaster and Piplop, uh, or, or Corio, Volcarona, the Fio and the Torkoal, the Extra Jewel Secret Rares. That's super cool. I'm hoping to get something good in these these last four packs. So, uh, it's just interesting that you're you're not guaranteed like anything in these packs. You have to go find them yourself. I think it's interesting. This is Skrelp that evolves into Dragalge. Embor. I kind of like these uh, these energy cards too. Bloom. All right, you want to give up a code card yep. there? We apologize if there's a delay. Unfortunately, we have no control over that. Um, but we will be giving out code cards at the end of yeah. the video. My boy Victor's getting a bunch of code Several. cards and bonus code cards. Uh, Raidami for stopping by and for the trivia one that was gifted to him. Uh, Sinister Trouts are no gift cards, but if you stick around at the end, uh, we've got a magazine that I think you're going to like seeing. So. Yes, yes. If, you, if, you like, uh, if you're a nerd like the rest Steve. of us. I guess Steve. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> uh, <laughs> We're having a good time here, guys. We're opening. This is the last of the Cosmic Eclipse build and battle kits um, that I'm opening. I'm hoping to get something good out of the last. This is the last three packs. Okay. What's up? The, that, no, the, ooh, the one. I like Amaro? that. I like that. Rufflet. Okay. It's a little bird. It's is another that, bird. Does he turn into the uh, the vulture? No, that's the, that's the one. This that's is like, the has eagle. Like, this is an eagle. Yeah, the, the the vulture one is the one that has like his eggs as like a diaper. Sure. It's, it's, it's really, not Mandibuzz, is no, it? No, no, but we opened like a Yo! Yeah! Oh, it's <laughs> your boy! It's your boy, BBQ! Hell yeah. Look at that! Yeah. That is I think that's so... one of my favorite new Pokemon. I love Mimikyu. Yeah, Mimikyu I is love awesome. Mimikyu. Like, I... Out of the list of not my favorites, he's at the very top. Yeah. But like, like, look at that little... It's funny, actually, because that video with uh, with Scraggy has Mimikyu in it. Oh! And Lolan uh, Ninetales. Ninetales, yeah. That's... That's interesting. Came with two rares, huh? That's such a really cool, cute art on the Mimikyu too. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't know who that lady is, but she's enjoying Mimikyu. That's uh, is she stitching him. Like, what's going on there? Yeah, he got a he got a. Um, I'll show it to you in a second. Um, but he got a uh, he got a cut. So Mimikyu, for those of you who don't know, is he is a dark and or psychic type, um, and uh, he really likes Pikachu and he wants to be Pikachu, mm -hmm. and you don't know what he looks like. Uh, so he builds a, he's ghost fairy, that's fair, uh, but he, he basically makes a Pikachu outfit. All right, so he's a ghost fairy, uh, but he makes a Pikachu outfit. He's psychic in this one. He's psychic in the TCG. Um, 
but anyway, he's a, um, he makes it a Pikachu outfit that he wears. Yes, he's, he's possessed by, he possessed a Pikachu. I thought he made it himself. Uh, but he wants to be Pikachu. Although, really yeah, well, in the, in the anime, he actually hates Pikachu. <laughs> like, he teams yeah. up with Team Rocket to take down Pikachu. Um, but, like, you don't actually see, like, what he looks like. I just think he's cute. Regardless. I think, I think, I think, I think the, uh, the world more or less does, too. Yeah, he's... Yeah, he's popular. <laughs> you want more, uh, more Pikachu? Let's, let's make a, a exactly, one that yeah. wants to be Pikachu. Just like all of us. Right? So this is interesting because this is the only set so far that has come with these secret rares, these full art secret, not full art, excuse me, just the secret rare regular ones. Um, I just think it's interesting. The art's cool. He's he's the the stand to Pikachu's M&M. Could we not? <laughs> Could we not? Could we not? Mike? <laughs> anyway, Sorry. moving on. It's all good. <laughs> all right. So again, we are opening... Um, Building Battle Kits, uh, Cosmic Eclipse, Building Battle Kits, the last set of Sun and Moon, because I happen to find a bunch of them in the back, actually right up front because I haven't been paying attention. We still have uh, Sword and Shield Building Battle Kits. It's upside down. Uh, we still have some of those left. I think we have eight left. Get them all, they're hot because I'm out of, or I'm I'll running out of. I'll let it uh, adjust here for a second. Nope. Just... <laughs> Sorry. I, again, I can't wear my glasses, so, so I... So, yeah, this is, this is what you look... What, what you yeah, see the I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, okay, there we go, all right, I, I can't tell. I can't wear my glasses because we're all wearing masks and they fog up. It's such a pain. I forgot to leave my... A sphere. It's a sphere. Mm -hmm. It's a seal. Um, Story checks out. Oh, what? I love my glasses in the car. Actually, no, I brought there's them in. So, there's your shiny there's boy. There's your dear. My shiny boy, her dear. Trevenant, who is terrifying. And then Dartrix. I'm hoping to get... Ends resolve. End with his ridiculous hair. Apparently there was some sort of a subplot in one of the games where he was supposed to be king of the region. I don't know. It's a weird, it's a weird, something weird. Last pack, everybody. Last, Last pack. Hopefully I get something. So I, I'm going to assume that the, the Last reason. Call. Pokemon. Last call. <laughs> the, the people assume that like the, the build and battle kits are like really good because you get better stuff. I don't think that's true. From what I've been opening, um, I don't think that's true at all. Uh, but it might just be that this particular set isn't known for that because I've seen some sets that are like ridiculous and some that are just whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and I've seen people open like ridiculous stuff in their building battle kits. Um, yeah. I and mean, something else seems like good value. Yeah, no, definitely. These are twenty bucks a piece, um, and the only way to get those those promo cards is in the mm -hmm. uh, in the build build battle kit. Um, so we're just gonna move on to the next one. Hopefully this I can't are we good? I can't I yeah. can't tell. Okay, okay. So I can't read that from where I'm sitting. Uh Tepig, Sogedimaru, Onyx, Wilmer, Mallow and Lana Reverse Hollow, Palasand. Nope. I think I think in this one. Dang it. Well, I mean I got some good stuff. That's not terrible. And Erica. Not Erica's hospitality, just Erica. Alright, so guys, I got some really cool stuff in this set. I really like what I got. Um Oricorio is great. The Volcarona is awesome. Um, the Mim I love Mimikyu. I think Mimikyu is like the coolest thing. I'm just going to move these back so everybody can see them. Um, but yeah, we've got a whole bunch of cool stuff. If you guys want to stop by, the store is open. Feel free to stop by. We're a Poké Stop. Come in, hang out. You know, we'd love to have you here. Um, we'd love to, to, to chat and we'd love to have you look at all of our singles. Um, again, I'm going to try and put these online if possible. That's a, um, that's a thing that I've been trying to do, but our system is weird. The system is down. Uh, down. The system is down. Uh, but we got one more code card yep. to give out. Mike's can do that right now. And then, yeah, as always, after uh, once we sign off here, yeah, no worries, Victor. Thanks for coming out, as always. It's always yeah. fun. Thank you, guys. Having people to, uh, to chat with, uh, give out trivia codes to. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, speaking of, um, after this, I'll send out uh, messages to people for their trivia codes. Um and we'll probably be back next Monday as usual. Hopefully. I assume so, yeah. We do have a limited amount of, like, the newer stuff. It just, like, depends on what you're looking for, but, like, what we're looking to open. I have no idea what I'm going to open until, like, the Sunday before when I actually have some time to look <laughs> exactly, at the stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay, I could, I could open these. Maybe we could just grab, like, a couple, like, a, a flight of packs, maybe. Like, you know, like, here's a pack from the new packs. one. Here's the pack from the next newest, so on. I mean, that's fair, but we're missing a bunch of packs that 
That's true, yeah. That's the only problem. I could open... I know certain ones are out of print, like, um... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a... Uh, we discovered by accident that they may have reprinted, um, or they may have been continuing to print, um, what's it called? Hidden Fates, which is the shiny set, oh, really? which is the most recent, yeah, the most recent shiny set. Um, we don't, we don't know yet because we haven't heard it. Like we heard and then we heard nothing. Mm-hmm. So we don't know. Um, but guys, thank you so much for joining us. We always have fun with you guys. Thank you again for also, hanging out. Before you, before you say goodbye, if, if Steve's still here, do you want to move these real quick just so I don't cover this up? Oh, we're going to show this off for, yeah, yeah. for those of you who yeah. like, uh, yeah. Exactly, yeah. The very limited amount of people who like Starship Troopers. Starship Troopers. Yeah, the hell yeah. Look at that. <laughs> it's a magazine that a coworker got. But yeah. Thank you, Davis. We get to find out about, I'd, I'd like to find out more about Dune. Oh, yeah, Heroes of Light Magic too. They have new uh, Star Trek plus Super Warcraft plus, too. Honestly, yeah, I was gonna say yeah, plus Warcraft too. Like I'm, I'm here for the Warcraft too. <laughs> Come for the Starship Troopers. Stay for the Warcraft. Stay for the Warcraft too. <laughs> zug zug. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all right, guys. Basically, just for Steve the end. Yeah, so. you know what? We have fun. We always have fun. We have something for everybody, right? Uh, whoever stops by on our stream. All right, again, guys. Thank you. We appreciate it. We'll see you uh, next week. Bye-bye. Bye.